Welcome to NetFit.TV. My name is Carl and I'll be leading today's workout. Today we're going to be doing a full body workout. We're going to be working every single muscle in the body, starting off with our chest and our shoulders, and then we're going to be working out throughout the entire body. Team, are you ready? Good. Are you ready at home? If you're ready, we're ready. Let's get started. I want you to grab onto some dumbbells. We're going to be doing in and outs for shoulders. Your arms are going to be up in 90 degrees. I want you in staggered stands. You're going to come in, pinching your chest, out, pinching your shoulder blades. So I want you to go in and out. Team, ready? Oh, they're started. Let's go. In and out. I want you to exhale in, inhale out, keeping your elbows up high. Let me check on everyone. There we go. Good, tall stands. If you're starting to slump over, then I want you to keep your chest up a little bit more. This is going to help your posture. This is a great exercise to straighten that back up. If you have a muscle imbalance where you're starting to slump over, this exercise will open the chest up, which is wonderful. Chest up. If your elbows start dropping, lift those elbows up a little bit higher. If you still can't, then lighten the weight. Good. Are you feeling that, Megan? Very good. Keep it up. We got five more. Four. Good. Last three. Two more. And perfect. Hold on to your dumbbells. We're going to do plie squats next, just like a ballerina. Toes out, heels in. I want you to separate your knees, drop your hips, and lift up. Are y'all ready? Let's go. Full stretch. And press it up. Make sure you kick your shoulders back. Eyes up. There we go. See how we doing? Good. The wider the knees, the better. The more you'll feel the pull on the inner thigh. Shoulder blades together. Chest up. Breathe. I don't hear you breathing. Inhale down. Exhale up. Good. There we go. Shoulder blades together. Perfect. Press more with your heels. The more you press with your heels, the more you'll feel the pull on the inner thighs. You press with your toes, you'll feel it more up here. So press with your heels. Good. Shoulder blades together, eyes up. Good. You're doing great at home. Ballerina style. Up and down, fast for five, four. Good. Last three. Two more. One more. Down and hold it. Hold it down there. Now pulse it a few times for five, four, three, two. Hold it down there. Arms straight up if you, have, if you don't have dumbbells at home. Lean back. Pulse it again for five. Four. Oh my goodness. Three, two, and good. Stand up. Shake your legs out. Did y'all feel that? Oh yeah. Lay on your back. We're going to do leg circles on your back. This is going to work our ab muscles from the top all the way to the bottom. We're going to draw a circle on the ceiling. I want you to keep your lower back firm against the mat and you're going to draw a circle right to left and then pull your legs to the center for one second and then go left to right pulling your legs to the center. Make sure you inhale round exhale up. Inhale round, exhale up. Good. Don't feel the burn. Make a bigger circle. Good. Go to level two if you feel like level one's too easy. If you feel like that's too easy, then make a real big circle where your feet lift up all the way up and then all the way down. Good. Breathe. There we go. How you feeling, Justin? Excellent. Excellent. Big circle. A little push. A little push. Okay. So to make it harder, you can have a partner to push you down, or you can even place a dumbbell between your feet to make it even harder. Good, lift those hips up. There we go, one more, all the way around. Lift up, lift up, and good, good work. Everybody on your feet, good work. You should really feel that at home, all the way from the top to the bottom of your stomach. Good, roll your shoulders back. Very good, skaters is next, Olympian time. We're gonna pull the right heel to our booty, and then our left heel to our booty, and then we go side to side, left, right. Hey, are y'all ready? 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 Let's go. Good. Good job. I can't forget about my team. Come on. Let's go. At home, pump it. Chest up. Get deeper. There we go. Perfect. Whoa. Good. If you feel like level one, level two is too easy, I want you to touch your toes. Okay? And I want you to go side to side. If you've ever wanted to train like an Olympian, here it is. Fast. Pump it. There we go. You only have about 15 seconds left. So rep it out. Chest up a little bit more, Megan. There we go. Go side to side more. So I want you to go left, right, left, right. So go side to side. Work your hips. Good. Five, four, three, two. One more. And good. Okay, we're doing two ply metrics back to back. I know I'm being tough today. Hands and toes. We're going to go into mountain climber. I want you to pull your right knee to your chest and then you're going to switch legs. Team, you ready? 
Ready? Are you ready at home? And let's go. Pump it back and forth. I want you to go fast legs as fast as you can. You're on your toes, so lift your heels up. Here we go. If you can't, if you can't do it on the floor with your hands, you can place your hands on the chair to make it easier. And you don't even have to jump. You can just place your right leg back and then your left leg back, just like Amber's doing right now. Keep your chest up a little bit more, stomach tucked in, shoulders away from your ears. You got all that at home? Good. Just like that. Want to make it harder? Just place one hand on the floor. Lift the other hand up and pump your legs. Okay, y'all, we got 10 seconds left at home. 10 seconds. How fast can you go? Let's get the heart rate up. I'm sure it's up. Fast. Five, four, three, two, and good. Since we did two plyometrics in a row, get a quick water break, 30 seconds. Okay, it's time to get started. We got about three seconds left. Are y'all ready? Two, good. Let's get started. Roll your shoulders back, big circle, and good. We're gonna start with high rows. Grab onto some dumbbells or resistance band. I want you to keep your chest out, your hips back. Now this time, you're going to keep your elbows up high to your side, pinching your shoulder blades and release. So no twists on these, just fly and release. Just like you're on the rowing team, you have 40 meters left. How fast can you row? I want a fast tempo right here. Good work. Keep it up. Good. Are you feeling it? Good. Now, everyone, I want you to hold it one second at the top and then release. Pull it, hold one second, and release. Pinch your shoulder blades together so you can really feel the isolation between your shoulder blades and the back of your shoulders. There we go. Now, fast. We got about 25 seconds left. I want you to rep it out as fast as you can. If you hit your goal already, keep on going. Don't stop. But make sure you remember quality over quantity. Chest up, fast. Come on, you can do it. On the last 10 seconds, let's hold it. Hold it up high, keep your chest out. Are you feeling the burn? Hold it. Good, are you feeling at home? I know they are, I'm not feeling too much. Three, two, one, and release. Roll your shoulders back, good work. Next, we're going to go into exit lunge. You can hold onto your dumbbells, uh, or you could go a little bit lighter since this, this is a tough exercise. We're going to go straight back. We're going to leave with the right leg, going straight back. Drop the back knee, making sure from your shoulders to your hip you go straight down. And then push up, bringing your right foot to your left foot. Team, you ready? Okay, give you a side view. And let's go. Right leg back, push up. Really use your left heel to push your body up. So I want your left leg to do most of the work. There we go. Inhale down, exhale up. Just like that. Perfect, full stretch and lift, looking great. So from her shoulder to her hip, she's going straight down, straight up. Pressing with the left heel. Good, take the pressure off the back leg, just focusing on the front leg. Really focus, there we go. Knee is not passing the foot, that's perfect. There we go, I want you to do it just like this at home. That's perfect, good work. Okay, all the way down and hold it, pulse it down. Five, four, three, Two, and lift up. Good work. Shake that leg out. Shake the left leg. Okay, now let's do the same thing with the other leg. Now we're going to kick the left leg back, drop the knee down, and push your body up using your right leg. Are y'all ready? Ready? Let's go. Straight back. Push it up. It's all about the right leg. Good. I want the right leg selfish on this set. What's the goal, Justin? 20. 20. Good. 24. Even better. How about you, Amber? 25. Oh, she's going to beat you, Justin. Oh, here we go. He's going heavier. There we go. Lean back. Good. Perfect. We get a few in. We've got about 20 seconds left. Remember, you can hit pause anytime you need. If you're feeling dizzy, feeling lightheaded, or you just need to take a little break, definitely hit pause, okay? It's all about a journey. It's all about reaching your personal best. Okay, for the last second, five seconds, we're going to pulse it down, chest up. Let's feel the burn. Get deeper. Good, for three, two, one more, hold it, and lift up. Shake your leg out, shake your leg at home. You can place your weights down. Next, we're going to be doing plank 
hip lifts. This exercise is fantastic. It's a good stretch for your stomach. It's a good stretch for your back. So everyone, let's get down. Hands and toes. We're gonna lower the hips as we lift the eyes up. Get a good stretch down your stomach. And then lift your hips up and pull the chin to your chest, hump, making a hump in your back. Inhale down, eyes up, hips down, and then hips up, chin to your chest. Got all that? Ready? Let's go. Full stretch and lift. Good work. When you lift your hips up, I want you to focus on contracting your stomach. So notice how she's bringing her hips back? That's not right. So I just want you to lift your hips straight up to the ceiling, humping your back, then eyes up, lower your hips. Keep your arms straight. Chin to your chest, hips up, eyes up, lower your hips. Good, like that. That is how I want you to do it. Perfect, do you feel that more? Okay, good, good. She was doing, I'm not sure what she was doing. Okay, eyes up, lower the hip, hips up. Good work. There we go. Chin to your chest, hips up, eyes up, lower the hips. Shoulders away from the ears, looking great. We got three more. Three, last two, two more at home. One more, and good. On your feet, great work, great work. Okay, roll the shoulders back again. Next is seal jacks, I want you to separate your arms, separate your legs, pinch your shoulder blades together. It's time to have a party, it's time to clap it up. I want you to clap it as loud as you can at home. Are y'all ready? Ready, let's go, clap. Woo! Come on, I want you to pop it. We'll be done before you know it. Come on, another water break after this. I'm too sweet, I know it. Come on, jump up. Up higher. Come on, Justin. Come on. Who's going higher? Me or him? Huh? Woo! -hoo. Come on, we got 20 seconds left. Oh yeah. Feeling good. There we go, up high. Get two more in. Good, last 10. Let's do it together, y'all ready? And let's do it, 10, nine, clap it up, eight, seven, Woo, we're making some noise over here. Are y'all making noise at home? Five, four, last three, two more, and good, water break. We're gonna start with Arnold press. So grab onto some dumbbells, resistance band. You're gonna place your palms facing your chin. And then as you press, you're going to twist your hands. And then as you release, you'll twist your hands, placing your palms facing your chin again. So you're gonna press up, twist, and release. Really focus in here. Are y'all ready? Are you ready at home? Let's go. Press up and release. Up. Focus here. Okay, this is gonna really find the front of your shoulders. I know everyone wants to have beautiful shoulders. They're beautiful, so let's make them beautiful. Okay, press it up. Are you feeling that, Amber? Yeah. It's burning? Oh yeah. oh yeah, good. Don't drop your elbows as low. Good, so she could keep the resistance to keep the contraction going. If she drops all the way down, then you will not feel it as much. Or do you feel it more? Yeah. Oh, she's sweating. She's working. Just like that, if you have a resistance band. Good, one leg up. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Bring those elbows closer together, Justin, and then press and twist. Keep your dumbbells closer together. For three, two, one more, and good. Drop your arms. You could either hold on to your dumbbells for single leg dips, or you could place them to the side. I want you to lift one leg up, and you're gonna balance on your right leg first. Press on all four corners of your right foot. And then all I want you to do is bend your right leg as much as you can, and then straighten the leg out. That's all, ready? And let's go, full stretch and stand. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your chest up. If your knee's wobbly, that means you're going down too far, okay? I want your knee stable. I want your knee right over your foot. Full stretch and lift. If you can't balance, then hold on to a chair like Amber. Now I want you to kick, kick your hips back more because I don't want her knee passing her foot. Perfect. A little bit deeper. Right there, good, keep that up, that's perfect. Okay, see how his leg's in the front? He can't bend his right leg as much. So kick your heel back and now bend your leg and lift. Do you feel that more? Yeah, I Okay, you could go deeper like that. Chest up more. Good, we got three seconds. Two, all the way down and hold it. Hold it at the bottom. 
How long can you hold it? Think about something good in your mind. Come on, chest up, deeper. Think about the beach. Think about what's motivating you to stay in this position. Ready? Y'all ready to count down? Five, four, three, two, and good. Check that leg out. Good work, okay? One more leg. Can't forget the other leg. We'll be lopsided. Left leg. Now lift your right leg up. Let's balance on the left leg. Press on all four corners of your left foot. And then slowly bend the left leg. And lift up. Keep your chest up. And lift. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let me check on everyone. There we go. Good. Knee does not pass your foot. So kick those hips back a little bit more. Notice her knee's going past her foot. So she needs to kick her hips back a little bit. Okay, good. She's adding a little weight to make it a little bit harder. Full stretch and press it up, just like that. Keep it up, I'm gonna get a few in. Left leg, there we go, chest up. Good, if you don't feel it at home, go to level two. If you still don't feel it, go to level three. Okay, three seconds and we're gonna hold it just like the other leg. Good, we can't cheat the left leg. Okay, down and hold it as low as you can. Keep your chest up, keep your stomach tucked in, shoulder blades together. Get lower, it's the beach, think about it. Lower, come on, three seconds. Two, all the way down, and lift up. Shake the left leg out. Good work, everyone, good work at home. That's the way to hold it at the bottom. Next is bicycle, so I want you to lay on your back. You're gonna place your hands behind your head. You're gonna bring the right elbow to the left knee, and left elbow to the right knee. Are y'all ready? Not quite yet? Okay, ready? Ready at home? And let's go, right elbow to the left left to right. I want you to go slow right now. I don't want you to go really fast. Hit the right to left, left to right. I want you to feel the contraction. Just like that, chin up. There we go. Good, keeping your chin up. The higher you lift your shoulders off the floor, the more you will feel your stomach, okay? So if you don't feel it, lift up higher. You could also push your legs out further towards the floor and that will make it harder also. Chin up. Now we have about 15 seconds left. Go as fast as you can. Pump it. Keep your form good. Remember, quality over quantity. Chin up, breathe. Don't hold your breath on this one. Come on, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, and good. Good work, everyone. On your feet, we have one more exercise. That's it. When you have fun, time flies by, right? Okay, we have one more exercise. It's hopscotch. We're gonna have a jamming party time. It's gonna be fun. Shoulders down, feet close together. I want you to hop to the right, hop to the left. Just like that. Are y'all ready? And let's go, back and forth. Good, pump your legs. Remember, I love to end with the plyometric before we get a little sip of water. Good work, back and forth, fast. You can go side to side like Amber. Good, how about you bend your legs more, Justin? There we go, so jump and then, there we go, bend them even more. Good, aha, chest up, get low. So hey, we're, we have a whole lot more contractions going on right here. And hey, if you can handle it, do it. If you can't, go back to level two. If you could be here for five seconds, that's fine. Just do what you can. It's about your personal best. Come on, fast legs, back and forth. Good work, I'm gonna get 10 more seconds in. Woo! Let's see if I can get low. Keep your chest up. You can do it for three, two, one. Good work. Good work, everyone. That's the way it work out. I want you to remember that obstacles will come up. But remember, we always have solutions to them. So if you're waking up in the morning and you're dreading to work out in the morning, don't do it. Do it in the evening. Do what works for you because working out is a priority in your life now. It's part of your lifestyle. If you need help with your obstacles and strategies, give us a call at netfit.tv and we'll help you. Until next time, reach your personal best.